Hey guys, this is Candle, and welcome back to Doom 3 BFG Edition. We are in the Alpha Lab, Sector 4, and I need health, but I hear bad things. So, I, I need health. Okay. There we go, that's much better. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and save right off. That way we are ready and good to go. Now, of course, this thing is not interactable. Yeah, okay, that's why I was up here earlier. All right, so we are still trying to, what are we trying to do? Reach the NPRO plant as quickly as possible. We are attempting to locate Bravo team still. And I think we're doing okay. That's like an obvious monster closet. Can you help me? I'm trapped in here. Release the door locks and get me out. Or I could activate chamber. I want to see what that does. <laughs> what? Hey, hey. Ah! Ow. <laughs> so he got he got squished. <laughs> I love the fact that it actually gives us that option. Oh, damn. And now it's open. Uh, let's go ahead. Which one? There we go. Is it not F9? Yes, it's F9. All right, let's go ahead. Open the chamber instead of activate. Thank you. Let him uh, survive that. <laughs> I still find it funny that it lets us, you know, kill him, basically. All right, chamber open. And this... All right, we are good. No open monster closets there. All right, down we go. And... So this is the guy. Thanks for getting me out of there. I got trapped in the chamber when the power went out. I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand why none of the systems are responding. I'm going to try to get an uplink into the main system from here. This is a secure terminal. I might be able to get a connection. All right, well, I'm just gonna steal all your stuff here and check out your PDA. I assume if we had killed him, we would have been able to get, you know, the, the key somehow in order to get in here on our own. But yeah, Michael Abrams. Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief. Michael Abrams, November 15th. One, four, five. I've just come from the armament division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series weapons. Mm. <laughs> While they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple I of weeks want. now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. Guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security report in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. Chief Abrams, end of law. Yeah, you bet your ass I wrote down that security code. I want that BFG. All right, uh, Henry Nelson, security sweep request. Mr. Abrams, we've been getting a lot of reports about strange noises, voices down here. My team is on edge and most are unable to work. It might help if you could send a security detachment to Alpha Sector 4 to do a sweep of the area. I know this sounds crazy, but it would make myself and my team feel a lot better. Human resources, personnel request. As you requested, we are sending more security guards to your security unit. The events of Gorman's death were tragic, and we hope that any future incidents can be dealt with safely. Expect a new rotation of personnel in about 10 working days. Uh, yeah, human resources, we make working on Mars feel like home. IT, security invalid number in code. Mr. Abrams, we are unable to process your door code request because you included a zero in the number sequence, and as you should have known, zero is not a valid number on door codes. Because of the importance of your request, we've decided to take it upon ourselves and replace the zero with a three. 
So it's not 901, it's 931. Please advise if this causes a problem. Okay, and we also picked up a video disc. There we go, the Mach 2 chain gun briefing. In a quest to provide armies with a well-balanced set of weapons, UAC looked to the past when designing and manufacturing the newest line of Mach 2 chain guns. The retro style and mechanical sturdiness of the chain gun is a must for all hardened combat veterans. Early adapters have nicknamed it SAW. With its armor-piercing 30 caliber bullets, the chain gun is capable of literally cutting opponents in two. Packed with all the punch you need in close combat fighting, the chain gun delivers unparalleled reliability and functionality. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. All right. I believe that is it. Okay, so I want that BFG 9000. 931. Yeah, I didn't think it was that. I didn't think that was this one. Oh, wait, was there something over here? No, just the locker. Alright. Well then, let's continue onward. Uh, I'm gonna save real quick, just in case something freaky happens while we're in here. There we go. Okay, it wasn't so bad. I was a little worried of, of this thing, you know, activating and killing us while we're in there. Oh, shit. Like, I heard something. I thought it was behind me. No, this thing was actually in front. Ah, damn spiders. All over the place. Alright. I hear more. And I hear the freaking zombie soldiers with the radios that they should not need. There we go. Alright, we're good down here. Let's head up. I hear you. Come on. Aha! You came out of a monster closet right behind me. Alright, I hear you. Yes. I was going to say, I knew there was a spider there. Alright, I've got two different doors. Which one's the way forward? I hear something. Alright, I think that might be the way forward. I'm not sure. Let's try here first. Okay, that's freaky. It's like we suddenly stepped into fear. I'm definitely gonna save. Okay, seriously, that is straight up ripped from fear. Except this game came out like four years previous. Alright, that was like super... Where the hell did all this shit come from? Oh my god. Yeah, that was super creepy. Okay. Okay, we're good to move on. Marines, race schematics show all passages out of your area blocked. The only way through is by traversing the EFR. Mechanical subsystem with two... Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridges is safer, but the lighting systems are fried. Make a choice. Good luck. Can I not do both? All right, Henry Nelson. Hopefully I'm safe right here right now. This is the audio log of plant manager Henry Nelson, dated October 24th, 2145. I don't know how I should report this, so I'll just talk about what I know and what I need. I've had quite a few employees reporting to me that they've heard strange sounds, like voices talking to them, calling them, even when they were alone. At first, I didn't believe them. The guys down here like to kid around, but they assured me they were serious. I ignored the stories at first, until one day, I heard something too. 
I was working on one of the lift-up service panels, and I distinctly heard the voice of someone saying, Over here. I quickly turned to see who was there, but the passage was completely empty. I looked around, but I didn't see another soul. I even checked the work logs, and no one else was working near that area. I don't want to sound crazy here, but my guys and myself are a little spooked, and some of the guys were even talking about ghosts. So, to make everyone, including myself, feel a little more comfortable, I'd like to request that a security team make a thorough check of the EFR area. Thank you. Henry Nelson. By the way, I just realized I'm pretty sure Doom 3 is sexist because there is not a single woman working in this facility. Like, every single... Uh, every single PDA we've found has been from a man. Every single character we've met is a man. So... Yeah. Alright. Jeff Dickens... Strange voices. Henry, I haven't slept in three days and can't concentrate on work. Ever since Hal's accident, everyone's been pretty freaked out. I really thought the guys saying they heard voices were full of shit, but lately I've been hearing them too. I don't know how UAC expects us to work like this. Oh yeah, the only female voice we've heard this entire time, aside from that creepy one uh, in the hallway that we just, you know, emptied, uh, got out of or whatever, is like the uh, female announcer over the, the PA, and I'm pretty sure that's just, you know, in-universe, that's just a, a, a computer basically doing that. The tools in storage cabinet 64 were missing again today. I'm going to change the combination to 651 this afternoon. Please do me a favor and don't tell Seneca the new combination. I believe he's the one taking my tools all the time. The guy thinks he's a real riot. Okay, so which do I want? EFR system or service bridge? Um... Can I do both? No, it looks like it might just be one or the other. All right. Yeah, I think it's just one or the other. Well, that didn't work. Shit. How far back am I? <laughs> Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridges is safer, but the lighting systems are fried. Make a choice. Good luck. You know, let's do the service bridge instead. Oh shit! Y'all came up right behind me. What the fuck just happened there? Like, okay. I guess. Yeah, you die now. Freaking thing knocking me back off the platform. I'm just lucky I didn't die again. Alright, they said lighting systems are fried. But we're fine. There we go. What the frickin' hell? There we go. Much better. I hear you. Alright. Now, can I go up there or not? I don't think so. You die. Thank you, oh so very much. All right. Oh, I see you. There we go. All right, elevator access denied, system malfunction. So I guess we gotta go this way. Yep, you're dead. Come on. Ah. Oh, shit. There we go. Alright. Y'all are dead now, right? Okay, good. Ah. 
Thank you. All right. Let's continue forward. We get whatever is over here. Including a monster closet. All right, we're good. Uh, I think that's the way forward. Is nothing over here? Yeah, no. Okay. Up we go. It's dark. All right, we're so far so good. We're all right. We're running out of ammo. Running out of ammo. We can do it, right? I think we can do it. And I am out of ammo there now. That's okay, I got plenty of them at the chain gun. Ooh. There we go. Okay, we should be good to go down. Get some armor. Oh! Um. Do, do, I, do I dare do it? It's, it's baiting me. Ooh, around behind. Over here. Um. Okay, so. As soon as I get this, monster closets are going to open up everywhere. Let's go ahead and save. There we go. But we got our plasma gun, finally. There we go. Ow. I know you're back there. Shit. Got you. And you as well can die. Thank you. Alright. I think we did it. Get some health real quick. And now I think we can leave, right? Yeah, just straight up leave. Oh! Where the hell? Okay, there we go. Alright, nothing on the other side. Alright, we're good. And across we go. Yes, I know. You guys are no direct trouble. Armor. And up. There we go. Take care of you. Don't advance too far. Okay, 6-4. So this should be 6-5-1. Yes, tools. Get some ammo. All right, still haven't figured out where the BFG is. Hopefully it's not on the other path. Where? I hear you, where are you? You're underneath, aren't you? Yep. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sneezing. While trying to deal with all these damn spiders. Ah! There we go. Another one back here. But, that's all of them. Alright, and that's the way forward. Um, what the? Oh, there we go. That works, for most part. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's try this direction first. I hear you. Alright, I love this thing. So much. Alright, I think that may be the way forward. So let's go back. And see what is around these corners. <sighs> Got some adrenaline. Alright, 
right, so maybe this is where the other path would lead us. There we go. You're dead. Thank you. So yeah, this might be where the other path would come in. The quote-unquote more direct route that's more dangerous. I hear you. There you are. All right. So then this is forward. All right, I do not like the looks of that room. We got an auto save at least. Yeah, I heard ya. I heard ya. All right. Got these guys. Not liking this. All right, let's go ahead and save real quick. We might have a boss fight coming up. You know, the spider mastermind. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Or it's something similar. No, yeah, that's the spider mastermind. Who is, of course, female. But hey, no nips, so... Oof. Those so far so good. Ow. Ow. Alright, are you dead? Are you actually dead? Yes, you are dead. Good. Alright, so which way is forward? This was the monster claw that she came out of, right? Yeah. Alright, so then I think this is the way forward. Open bay door. And on to the Enpro facility. Bravo team, entry secure. Move in and take positions. Quiet. Did you hear that? This is Lee. Give me status. All is clear. There's nothing here, Sam. Well, I think they're dead. <laughs> All right. That's not great. Yes. A military transmission card. It's vital you retrieve that card as it contains encoded data needed to send the distress signal to the police. You're the last hope to get the report. Find that card and find it back. I'm sorry I didn't hear the last of what you said. The gunfire was too loud. And it's not like I can change the audio balance of the game itself because the volume has only one slider for it. There's no separate sliders for ambience and music and and voices and sound effects. All right. I'm gonna take the. Mm, you know what? Screw it. There we go. All right. I want all this shit though. Attention. So yeah, follow this thing, because it is very useful. And... Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Sorry, buddy. I did not mean to shoot you. At least you're not shooting me in return. Some of these PDA, but it is not a good time to try to read it. There we 
we go. Alright, begin valve routing. Fire extinguished. There we go, you're taken care of. Alright. There we go. Good. Good little buddy. You're killing more of them more than I am. Alright, which way are we going? I want to go this way a second. Ah! There we go. There, there were supplies over here, okay, little buddy? And, oh! Behind me. What is over here? Oh, shit. Alright, we're doing okay. Yes, I know I have a PDA waiting. I would love to check it out, but now is not a good time. I hear you. There you are. Good. Here we go. They're coming from all over the place now. Good. Oh, there's another one. Gotcha. All right. We're good for now. Yeah, I was going to say we're good for now, but apparently not. All right, so we made it as far as that guy will take us. There's something there. Can I go up there or... Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. I hear a woman crying. Like it's on the other side of this wall? Maybe it's above us. Alright, let's go ahead and save real quick. Alright, oh, gave us another save. Wait, there's there an actual woman working here? There is. And of course she becomes a lost soul almost immediately. Come on. Another PDA. So let's go ahead and check these out. Finally, the first woman working here, but let's check out Paul Rad first, because we got him first. Paul Rad, Chief Technical Officer for the Enpro facility. During my weekly inspection of the coolant system, I discovered yet another safety violation. As I've stated repeatedly, our service manuals must be followed to the letter. Now this includes changing back filters for the coolant system on schedule and not when maintenance gets around to it. As you know, unclean back filters will create pressure inside the coolant system's release tubes. Even a minor disruption in a release tube can dislodge or destroy its coolant rod, overheating the core, and possibly sending the entire facility up in smoke. Now let me be clear, if I see this again, the team responsible will be transferred to sewage treatment before the day is over. Alright. Paul Rad, Chief Technical Officer for the Enfro facility. I appreciate UAC's concerns following the number of stress-related illnesses spreading throughout the base. However, I don't understand why we require such a large detail of armed security bots in Enfro. Now, you may disagree, but I trust my team's mental condition far more than whatever programming is running inside those bots. Which brings me to the reason for this report. Today, one of my best engineers, Patrick Thomas, was nearly shot when a bot refused his clearance. That's right, shot. Luckily, a nearby team from maintenance caught up to it and smashed it with a pipe wrench before it could chase Pat down. Now, it'll be days before he's ready to return to work, and I don't think you'll ever get him close to one of those bots again. Our jobs are difficult enough without needing to avoid getting shot. 
If we're going to be treated like prisoners, I respectfully request that you afford us the courtesy of being guarded by people instead of machines. Okay. What about his emails? 